base roster. So I'm excited to see a bunch of people play a variety of different characters today, honestly. Oh, same, same. Oh, man, we getting right into it? I guess. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm got the truth on the aki and black shikamaru mm -hmm. on e honda aki the newest mm -hmm. character out right now let's see if anybody's discovered some secret discord tech maybe mm -hmm. pretty much set up yeah that's a frame kill set up to be able to utilize that make sure you want to deal with it mixes in it mixing it up with the roundhouse into the command grab mm -hmm. oh, oh man no let's right in the bubble oh, nice. oh. I wonder, does Aki... Aki doesn't seem to have much of an answer for headbutt outside of parry, just the universal mechanics. Her, her whip oh, is doable, but it's a little bit yeah. slow. Oh, gets the punish counter, Ochio throw. Honda gonna oh, Honda, let's go. Okay, nice. Great drive reversal as well, slows right on out. The only way to punish that is to actually throw it, which is something it is that people have to be on the lookout more for. Does Corey time and time again, trying to see if they can catch the lead, misses the confirm off of it, just a little bit out of spacing for that. Had the correct idea, made the correct play, but wasn't in distance for it, a command grab to finish it off. Wonderful stuff there from Black Shikamaru. It looked a little weird. It might have looked like they dropped the combo, but it, from the looks of it, it looked like they were actually aiming to put uh, the truth in burnout there. So mm -hmm. great awareness of the resources and everything to close out that first round. So just to get the drive. Impact, carried into the corner. A lot of good damage. Probably just gonna pull the level three trigger. Yeah, absolutely. Finds the damage and remains them, and it also leaves them in a poison state. So it's a lot that you have to be concerned about. And she's going to have enough distance to be able to zone if she needs to. She's got to get that drive gauge back. Baits out the mm -hmm. EX head, but what mm -hmm. a reaction. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, no, just a read. Good awareness. And now Shikamaru just, oh, one last chance at life. Just one poke away. Nice, good jump back. I like it. But drive reversal once again for Shikamaru to maintain the positioning. But this CA, this is death. She is actually so. good. Let's do some quick maths here, y'all. Just quick math. Yep, She's absolutely. Dead. He got the heavy hands variation, so he did as much damage as he possibly could with that very minuscule confirm. Uh, so he, he was like, okay, well, I just gotta, I gotta pull the trigger here. So that was enough. It's a very, very good sign. Really awesome. Let's see if maybe the truth adjusts their game plan a little bit. Great use of the fireballs to prevent the usage of headbutt, but uses EX headbutt to just get right through any of these hockey shenanigans. Nice goes for the parry, mm. jumps over the fireball. We got this pressure now, but slides out of the corner. I was watching Omar a little bit unaware about the fact that that is punishable based off of a throw, so I understand. Second time, catches him on the top, catches him with the punish counter throw, tried to parry. Can't find big damage here. Okay, confirm. You can get level two off of this as well. Oh, wow. He was wasn't expecting it to be as meaty as it was. No, absolutely not. That was a mistake. 100%. <laughs> hey, you that. never know, man. Maybe they're just four parallel universes <laughs> ahead of us. I'll give Maybe them the benefit so. of the doubt. We have the corner pressure here. Ooh, was ready for the slide this time, but unfortunately not quite ready with a throw. Oh, this uh, forward roundhouse. Yeah, can't really find as much of a stronger confirm on that. Will be the knockdown. I'm trying to catch it, really. Got yeah, iron through all the fireballs as well. She has a lot of recovery. That fireball is good because it's slow, but it's also part of the reason why it's really bad. Because her startup animation for the fireball is really, really you can react to that. With, with with certain characters, you can just react to that and punish her for doing that just like that. He's hit every single oh. EX headbutt off, off of a fireball from her level three. Yeah, wants to main, wants yeah. to get her drive gauge back, and also wants to find the damage to put him into CA range once again. Mm, same story, different chapter. Let's see if maybe we can, if the truth can close it out here. That's a, oh, nice oh, jumping, but didn't it. believe. That was it. No, wow, it caught him just, on the jump back. It just catches that jump back. Unfortunate Ooh. turn of events there. And now Black Shikamaru is here on set point. There the we go. Back. There's the jump that she was looking for, but unfortunately not able to confirm. That's twice the truth has actually hit these jump jump fierces you can punish that with the okay from that this is what i was surprised about i know you can punish ex headbutt but from that spacing her light punch is really good as gracious i this far oh yeah she's got them claws man they're there for a reason exactly but not just for sure that much is for sure they're chasing them down same thing a nice big life lead really making use of the middle of the stage 
Oh, yeah. last this is so much the damage. young man reactions from Black Shikamaru. So We're gonna probably go into the level three. Yes, we are. Get that drive gauge back. I, she's not quite in burnout. She's gonna have just a sliver, but against Honda, it might as well be in burnout yeah. after this. Yeah, Ooh. she's gonna have one probably on wake up. Oh, everything versus yeah, three. Nice. My mistake. Man, just to make things already going. it. Nice. Well, it's the kiss of death, and the punish counter is gonna be the throw here. So first and three, once again, for everybody it is, that is uh, tuning in. It's going to be a first and three for the matches so far. And it's going to be a uh, very, very good time. Oh, yeah. I'm always down for some longer sets. Let's go. Yeah, I'm down for that too. Good. A boat. Fort Fierce. Got to be careful about using it from that close. You can get punished for that. Reacts once again. Using drive impact as an anti-air is never a good sign for anybody. I don't, it doesn't matter what character it is. Gives your opponent yeah. too much time to react. No one hasn't realized that the throw is the option. But he's backing up a little bit more because she tries to run from it. And these headbutts are so meaty, and there it is. Give well, him the slaps to the hundred hands. Yeah, it's, a, it's a rough round here. Rough here in the streets. <laughs> oh, absolutely. No, drops a combo, unfortunately. Boy, going for that burnout. There it is. Oh, man, those headbutts do like a full bar of drive damage every time. Let's do it again. Meaty. Man, Chikamaru just, just has no respect for that frame trap, just mashing every time. I love it. Yeah, because so far, Truth, as well as the Truth has been playing, they haven't really given them any reason to directly respect a lot of what they've been doing. There's nothing that they've really been able to do. There hasn't even been one punish counter on the side of Truth yet, except for the throws when Shikamaru's been trying to parry. Oh, oh she was definitely... Aki was definitely ready to buffer that one into... A confirm in case it hit, but drops the drive rush. Punishes. It, nice. Great walk under there. Now we got the corner positioning. Goes for right, the throw. You know, be careful with wake up super. Wow. Uh, 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 uh. Mm -hmm. Great c conservation of resources there. Opting not to use the bar. Honestly, I would have. I would have been scared. I ain't letting Honda live. Backs you up. I, I wouldn't work. Want to be in that situation either, especially with how many times it is that Shikamaru has been on the back foot and has ended up clutching things out. Oh no. Tries to parry the jump in, but gets punished counter thrown for their troubles. Okay, what is going on here? <laughs> I, 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 I know you want to get to the, I know you want to get out of the corner, man, but eventually Han is going to take that space. Good lands a great jump in over the bubble. That's minus. That use of the drive reverse there after the, um, the kicks. Yeah. Really, it's, really good mm. everything from Black Shikamaru. Not allowing any momentum to get going, tr keeping control of every aspect of this match. It's a minus. Those kicks are minus after that slither. And I honest, I 100% think that at the most, that Truth should go for a command route. Because Shikamaru is not doing anything until he sees those kicks. <laughs> Maybe it's time to... If they're going for the drive reverse every time, maybe it's time to start mixing in that command grab a little bit more. We've seen it once. Right. Just very, you know, just opting to use it as often as possible, but now eats a counter drive impact here. Let's see if the truth can get some solid damage here. No, oh, drop, she the second, drop the second it. Jab. Another jump in fierce, but no confirmation. I think it's the distance at this point. Yeah, they did hit it a little bit high, so I can understand why the timing is a little bit hard. The third time I've seen them hit that, I don't counter hit too. Oh, oh Geo exactly. throw! That's gonna take it now. Now, I, hey, I'm right this time. Black Shikamaru is on set point. Mm -hmm. Did you see him just stand there menacingly and watch that whip? That was great. Mm -hmm. I love the confidence. Drop the conversion yet again. Headbutt the truth, trying to make the way out. It's the low. Oh, no, in the oh. corner again. Gets the wall splat as well. Here we go. Was that an instant overhead attempt? I don't know, but Lance the EX Ochio throw. Now you're in burnout as well. You gotta watch out for that stun. Okay. Puts himself to burnout as well. Oh, so okay. that's not an option. But a wake up super. Mm -hmm. Great oh. jump. Oh, that could have been a punish! And he didn't pull the trigger on the level three either. Oh, Black oh. takes it. 3-1. A couple of Unlucky. times he actually had a great hit.
There was a couple times where they actually used that jump in Fierce to try and see if they could fish for anything. Counter hits on four different occasions throughout all four of those games, and none of them was confirmed into. Another time where they actually just now, what we just saw, actually went for the neutral jump, see, saw what it is they could do, and didn't react in time to be able to actually punish with when they landed on the headbutt, which is very, very unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Super unfortunate. I mean Honda puts a lot of pressure on you to respond to everything that he does. Mm -hmm. So, and he doesn't give you many opportunities to actually capitalize on a lot of things. So, when those opportunities do finally arise, that's it's kind of just a an explosion of emotions, as it were. And it's I, I don't blame them, but you know, great stuff from mm -hmm. Lexi Gamaro taking the set three one, and they will move on in the winner's side. The truth is still in; they're just on the loser's side now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, it's still a fight to be able to climb through losers through, uh, through losers bracket but at the same time i have no doubt they'll be able to do it they were doing some good things genuinely but shikamaru was just with the oppressive nature and sort of just the knowledge checking of what they were doing was i mean it's hard to deal with honda's very very aggressive and we saw that consistently trying to deal with headbutts trying to see if you can even perfect parry a headbutt is a lot too so it's i mean hey it can it can be rough it can be really really rough trying to deal with that absolutely i mean and mm -hmm. Even though Aki's been out, how long has Aki been out at this point? Like two, three weeks? Uh, a, a couple weeks, yeah. Yeah, a I mean, still point. relatively fresh, relatively new oh, character. Yeah. When your apologies, cattail all in the way, she wants attention. Oh, you're fine. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, still maybe learning to get that level of comfort that you would have with someone like a Ken or a um, or a Ryu or a Kami or something mm -hmm. like that. Those, you know, characters have, that we've had in our hands for three months at this point. So, right. So maybe maybe a few a few things still need to come together, but regardless, I mean that was great mm -hmm. stuff from the truth. I mean, pff, Aki's not the easiest character in the world to play against, especially against no, someone like Honda. No. Learning a character, learning a new character against someone like Honda, who forces you to play an entirely different game plan, is mm -hmm. no is no easy task. I mean, Honda doesn't play sure. Street Fighter Six. Honda plays Honda, and you have to adjust to that. Mm -hmm. I'm very. Uh, it was very unfortunate too to be able to see sort of the fact that like. You know, it was just a lot of oppression on the su side of Black Shikamaru when he was fighting against Truth. It was just a Oh, no. <laughs> That's all right. It looks like we lost somebody. Well, okay. Oh. What, 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 that was weird. It was for a second. Yeah. It's just like... No, no, he, he's, he's back. That was back weird. again. Okay. Yeah, just for a second. But regardless of the fact, I was something it was I was curious about was trying to figure out if... Uh, quarter circle forward fierce was something that could beat both headbutt and blanca ball i know it's used very consistently as an anti-air and i wonder if she would be low enough to the ground to where it wouldn't trade because i've never seen that move trade before with any uh with any air with any jump ins so i'm curious if that would work against that maybe a little bit more research maybe a little bit more time in training mode with her would be able to yield some of those results but and so then i'll have to figure out myself too so i think it is i'll have to look into yeah i mean the input is quarter circle forward right Course like a forward affairs, for the, yes. For, specifically, for the uh, for specifically for the one it is that I'm talking about, I'm talking about the anti-air one, which is heavy throwing. Yeah, yeah, the one that goes straight mm -hmm. up. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you know, the, maybe the reason why they weren't going for it, I mean, a quarter circle forward input is just kind of risky and the, hey, heavy headbutt's fast. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, even, like I, speaking from the perspective of a Zangief player, it's just like, oh, I could just do Lariat. Even just pushing two buttons, not having to worry about inputs, that's asking a lot just because of the speed of heavy headbutt. So maybe they were going for a more consistent option with the parry. Just a shame that the timing wasn't there. Um, I mean, and but that's more, that's less of a, that's that's more credit to Black Shikamaru for adjusting the timing mm -hmm. enough to where you really couldn't get a read on it. Um, Honda's an extremely binary character. He's not, he doesn't have much going on for him, mm -hmm. but. The things that he does have, the headbutt and the sumo slam, have they require so much of your attention, and they right. do so much on their own that um, you know they have to work around that time. You know, standing, sitting full screen, and just doing crouch fierce to bait mm -hmm. out the to to bait out your parries to waste your drive gauge, and mm -hmm. and like Shikamaru was doing that. Like that, that was one of the few times I've actually seen a Honda go in as that aggressively, not letting Aki establish any pressure. It's like. It was like, oh, she put a puddle down. Okay, cool. I'm going to EX headbutt through this. What right, are you going right. to do? Hit me? Yeah. Right, exactly. You wouldn't be able to recover in time, too. It's something it is that I think that that, that uh, that's the spring, I think poison spring or poison blossom, I think that it's, it's, it's hard. It's a lot of recovery to deal with. It's a lot of recovery to deal with. And it's really, using that poison spring is just not, which is, of course, I'll go back, medium punch for Aki. 
it's just not something that's as good as you think it would be. Uh, it's just too long in terms of recovery, and it's something that you always have to consistently deal with. And it's just it's just rough. It's, it's, it's hard being able to find a consistent way to use that tool in neutral against someone that can close the gap against you so quickly. But putting it out when you're trying to be in like a zoning war or fireball war is a different thing. You can end up doing that to make sure you control space so that they are at least poisoned on the way in. But even still, it's just difficult mm -hmm. to try and use that, like you were saying, against Honda when a character can just close the gap so fast. Like you're talking about heavy headbutt, you're talking about a lot of these headbutt tools. Even butt slam is hard to deal with. It's it's rough. I mean, it's 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 difficult, honestly. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely. And I don't, you know. Now that I think about it, there wasn't really a lot of use of the butt slam from Black Shikamaru. Uh, maybe they've, I mean, they've probably put a lot of time into the Aki matchup based mm -hmm. on how they play. Probably just say, why would I need it? I can headbutt over anything that she does. And maybe her punishes for the EX headbutt aren't that scary. Or, yeah, I mean, I... You, know, you could just you could just tell from the confidence in the way they were moving that they they've definitely had some a lot of practice against Aki at this point. They were they were hitting that ranked grind for sure and running into the army. Mm. Yeah, I mean, like I feel like it's still like a, an aspect to be able to even on ES e, even on EX or I should say OD headbutt that you'll be able to stall out a lot with Stan Roundhouse. Stan Roundhouse is a really really great way to be able to get the punishes. But that was the first match that we saw. We're gonna head right into round two here for winners yeah. once we get right into this match. I'm excited to see who it is we'll be seeing on the screen in a couple seconds. It's going to be Honda Black Shikamaru again versus Marissa this time. Oh, we got Jimmy Jimmy DR, some Dominican Republic representation, it looks like. Oh, there it is, the classic. There we go, the Marissa pressure in the corner is an absolute menace. Honda doesn't really have many answers to that from a distance. Maybe we could just drive rush in and get a throw, but it's still at, that's that's a quick reaction. Oh, yeah, Gladius is a little bit harder for Honda to deal with because you're having to deal with which is why uh, Jimmy's using it so often. Great way on the perfect parry as well. Yep, scoop him just to try counter that. Can't armor through the driver reversal. So if you could, this character would have shot up multiple tiers. Great anti air. I love that too, and it sets up for the DP safe jump in. I like it. Uh, that parry stance from Marissa is no joke. I thought I had Oki, but she had other plans. Just a full screen drive impact. You know what? I respect it. Probably saw the headbutt coming. Not quite a good good reaction from Black Shikamaru. Unfortunately, just a little bit too slow. But now we've got the corner pressure. What a punish! I didn't think it would reach from that far. <laughs> get, get that out of here. Good reaction from Jimmy. Very, very solid. Good jump back as well. Managing to get the punish. Put a trigger on it. Gutsy jab there from Black Shikamaru, but gets out. Fortune mm -hmm. favors the bold indeed. Got him. Trying to hit a butt. I don't know what they try tried to hit either on the side of Jimmy DR. A couple of counter hits. This is really just a slug fest back and forth. The hits oh, that absolutely. I've been seeing actually be delivered is, is insane. It's, it's crazy. Uh, Good block on the overhead, frames. unfortunately, the plus frames. Oh no! Oh, had the had the whiff, but not ready to punish. Oh, grabbed it right out of the stance too. That's going to be burned out. Oh man, that's a huge... Oh, still can armor though. Waiting for it. Good anti here. Goes right on. No, through. you can't drive him back that. Made the read, made the commitment. Unfortunately, Jimmy decided to charge it up. Jumps. Has enough health to survive a drive impact, so not quite in te checkmate situation yet. Oh, maybe Good now. Punish, yep. yep. Wonderful punish there from Jimmy, and they take the first game here. Absolutely. Every drive reversal being minus eight in this game, so it's just a matter of how fast they recover from using their drive reversal or not that you'll be able to get a consistent pun punish or not. You might have to just adjust a couple of bit of timings, but all drive reversals are minus eight. Oh my god, just round start mashing drive impact. I love it. The absolute audacity of this player. We need more of this. The frames and boxes. Again. Again. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Safe. Gets the reset. Oh, what a reset. That was disgusting. Get Big Bird comboed. <laughs> really, really well done. Honestly, Jimmy did a great, great job of making sure that he maintained that quarter position very, very effectively. He's just ready. He just knows. Pulls the trigger the second time, I like it. Plus frame. Oh, just goes Locks up for up. the throw, catches him looking. Good parry. 
Get off me. Yeah, you can't jump out of that. Oh, there we go. Nice punish, solid. Gets out of the corner, but a big life lead here. Nice no, here. get out the earth. Yes, sir. Really well done, honestly. Jimmy's been doing such a good job of making sure that they maintain that momentum. I love the uses of Skewtum, which is her parry stance, to be able to get through so much of what's been happening for for Black Shikamaru. I really, really like the the aggression and the usage of that. Okay, but it's time. He was messing around before. He's going to go all out just this once. I saw the swap there. I saw it. I saw it. He went straight oh, to JP. Oh, there was a swap there? I blinked. Yeah, I didn't pay attention. JP. What did I miss? Where, who we he getting? went straight to JP. 100%. Oh, he went, nah, he went from what? Honda to JP. I don't blame him. Like, honestly, just from watching mm -hmm. that and from the, I mean, from my limited game knowledge, I mean, Marissa, it seems like a nightmare for Honda. Like, he can never really head she can be, because yeah. she'll always, she can always just react with parry. Same thing for Blanca. Uh, she does really good into Blanca as well. Okay. Yeah. And, and her mm -hmm. neutral is amazing. Like, that fo that forward medium punch reaches halfway across the world at this point. But you're right, Black Shikamaru mm -hmm. pulling out the JP, the secret weapon, it looks like. Thing, just walk to that. Still gonna walk down the same for the most part. You can't do that. Straw bomb, course or before light punch, medium or heavy punch. That move it is that he stand there does. You can armor, th you can DP through that, you can uh drive impact through that. It's very it's it's noticeable. You can react to that super hard. For somebody that's ready for it, you gotta be careful. Especially with Marissa, where she like, mm -hmm. just automatically responds on uh, when upon being hit. There we go, another good drive reverse. Here. But Jimmy ready with these anti airs. There we go. The classic mm -hmm. JP. You get comboed, you're going full screen, but you should just jump in rather than maintain the space. Oh yeah, you gotta be careful. You everyone always thinks it doesn't reach, but it does with Marissa. That forward roundhouse, that charge forward roundhouse is really strong. It's super good. So good and it's good enough to get Jimmy on set point here. Punishes the recovery on the departure portal. Gonna get the corner. Safe jump. Good attempt at the perfect parry. Unfortunately, the timing goes off a little bit. There we go. Crouching medium kick. The pimp step. Oh no. Oh. We're gonna get a level three here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Why do you level three? Casual Marissa optimized. combo. Yep, optimized damage too. Not gonna be dead, but very close. Might as well be, it's gonna feel like it. Now I know history, indeed. What a hill to climb, and the hill is too tall to climb. Jimmy, in dominating fashion, taking this set 3-0 to zero over Black Shikamaru. The Marissa will not be stopped. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it was just really hard to... It, it's really, really hard to sort of stop an aggressive Marissa or one it is that's not really trying to respect a lot of what it is that you're doing because that's the thing about Marissa. Marissa's buttons can be very slow. She can have sort of a really, really hard time in terms of trying to find the correct button in order to whip punish with because she doesn't get a light confirm off of anything. She's one of the few characters in this game to where if she tries to do like a light punch or a light kick or even crouch light punch, crouch light kick, she can't confirm off of any of it. She can't confirm off of any of her light normals like that into a drive rush like most characters do to be able to find a confirm. So a lot of what she has to do is a sense of aggression. Her crouch medium punch is good, great button, strong button, but a lot of the times if you try and check a drive rush with it, you'll end up getting hit. So a lot of it is, a, is, is you have to be aggressive. You gotta maintain, you gotta maintain that space. You have to stay in their face. She's not good at getting zoned. She doesn't have an answer for that. Like in, yeah. a, in a very similar way to Zangief, she's very, it's very hard for her to deal with zoning and very hard for her to deal with anyone that likes to keep her out. And especially in a situation like JP where she, I mean, Jimmy just constantly ran him down. Like, has to run him down, too. There's not really much you can do about that. Yeah, uh, yeah oh, uh, JP, you can't let him breathe for a moment. Any mm -hmm. character. As, but as, you're right, especially with a Marissa, or especially as Marissa or as Zangief in particular. And, mm -hmm. you know, you Mar <laughs> you hear a lot of people saying, like, oh, Marissa's damage is too high, Marissa's damage is too high. But if she can't get in, she needs that damage to be that high. She has to be able to punish you with yeah. a few opportunities that she gets. If it's that easy to keep mm -hmm. her out, then it needs to be that rewarding when she finally achieves her goal. And mm -hmm. yeah, it hurts, but you know, it hurts so good. She's so fun to watch. Honestly, probably my favorite new character uh, addition to the Street Fighter series. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's, she's a really cool character. I think she's really dope. The impact of her punches as well, just design-wise, is super good. It's super mm -hmm. awesome. I, I think that it's genuinely... I, I think it's really, really cool to be able to see this type of character, too. We haven't really seen, like, a brutish character like this, except for, like, 
Abigail? Really? Mm -hmm. Actually, Abigail you know what? Really yeah, you're right. Not 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 a lot of big bot. Well, yeah, we had G, but he was kind of he was a grappler a little bit more than anything. Mm -hmm. um, Balrog is was big, but he was really fast as well. He wasn't he wasn't like a big it wasn't like the big slow bruiser type like she is. Um, yeah. No, yeah, you're right. I guess I guess so, but I mean, her her character is you know to be honest. When I saw the helmet hair when she was first revealed, I was a little skeptical about it, but it's really grown on me. Actually, I think her her, mm -hmm. her visual design is absolutely amazing, especially like I mean, the Urian second out the the, the second outfit like Urian inspired um, suit, mm -hmm. so good. Chef's kiss. Facts, yeah. I think it's great to see a lot of these characters. I, I really hope we get as many costumes as we did in Street Fighter Five. Because I think Street Fighter Five, while it wasn't my personal favorite, I think that Street Fighter Five had a lot of really cool costume designs. And I think mm -hmm. having that sort of perspective is really, really dope to sort of bring to this new this new era of fighting games, right? This said a lot about Street Fighter Six, and it's the truth because I love the system, I love the diversity of the characters themselves, and I think it's overall a great great opportunity and great time to have when it comes to this game. If you ever have a chance to be able to see Street Fighter Six on the deal, anyone in chat that's just watching that hasn't had a chance to pick it up, would highly suggest it. I think this game is really dope. You can pretty much yeah. play whoever you want to in this game. I don't really think there's a limit on that. I still see people, even though characters, certain characters aren't that good, talk about like bottom three, maybe like like Manon, well, sorry, not Manon, but like Zangief, Lily, Dalsum. Manon's lower as well. Manon's not as good as people thought that she was, which is, you know, mm -hmm. sort of just how the natural progression of meta and tier list goes is the fact that you think a character is really strong at first because of what they have at, at at first you think that you see a lot of tears and stuff like that a lot of things with manon japanese players were discussing about how strong she could potentially be but it just didn't end up being that way here we are into the next match as well for quarterfinals morpheus versus uh cameo little side tk whips oh man cami no a notably strong character as well amazing range on her buttons fast movement speed jabs that are fast as lightning but let's see if morpheus can adjust to the speed of the game here oh no oh wow nice good dp from tk whiffs maintaining core position just keeping just keeping the positioning as best as they can yeah you got to keep them caged stay just out of range of those of those great medium buttons but Far, but close enough to get those anti-hairs. Lands a perfectly spaced dive kick. Hits her right in the ankles. Good job, what an interruption, interruption on that. That's, that's extremely difficult to do. Mm-hmm. Classic Kami pressure. Unfortunately, not able to respond to the drive Ooh. impact. Goes for the charge Gladius to put them in burnout. There we go, Spartan kick. This is Sparta indeed. A lot of these, a lot of these cannon spots that TK is doing are doing them out of habit and I think out of muscle memory, but they aren't strong enough cannon spikes to be able to actually net them the plus frames. And I think Morpheus just isn't ready for the aggression that TK Whiffs is putting out right now. The first game is one of the TK Whiffs, but Morpheus can slow her down more than he thinks that he can. Because a lot of what it is that I'm seeing from TK is a lot of like mashing, a lot of like just, uh, a lot of good aggression, but a lot of like mashing in the sense of like they're getting counter hit quite a bit. I'm seeing quite a few counter hits on that on a lot of their pressure. But honestly, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm not mad, mad at them for being aggressive as they are. Oh no, absolutely not. And Cam Cammy's in kind of an interesting spot against characters like Marissa and Zangief because I mean she doesn't have low health like she has in other games. She has a standard ten thousand health, but mm. she has to she does have to get in their range to really establish her game plan. Like oh she can she can achieve that range extremely easily with things like dive kick and spin knuckle and some hooligan shenanigans stuff like that. But once she's mm. there, she is putting herself at a risk. I mean I could sit there and cry about the jab jab throw loops all I want, but at the end of the day mm. she's in range. To, she's in range to get grabbed she's in range to get to eat that medium punch from marissa it's a big risk 100 she is but i mean hey tk is doing good like i said before if it ain't broke don't fix it i'm not too i'm not stressing out too bad about it okay he's waking up morpheus is waking up no oh, yeah no he's terminator 2 powering up seeing the big red eye turning on mm -hmm. i'll try to anti-air with that i like the usage of the od knowing that oh you can kill her friend 
Oh, never mind. I thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna keep it a little bit more simple. Now for the swag, the anti-air Gladius lets it charge all the way up, and now Morphus is on the board with a round. Let's see if they can ride this momentum. Oh, there mm. it is. Mm. Mm. Safe yeah, jump, a, of course it's a safe jump. jump. Drops the combo, luckily doesn't get punished, burns himself out. Oh, good mini walk back, I like it. Good bottom oh, DP. Get you know. baited, no, doesn't quite get the right timing Block. on the charge up, but blocks the drive reverse, and that is a quit. That, I blinked, that was about 20 seconds of fighting in one game. And we're already back into the next match. Wonderful, Plus, I love generation of fighting games. <laughs> we're already back in the next one. Hey man, I and paid sixty dollars. I didn't pay. I didn't pay for a loading game. I played for a fighting game. That's fair. I feel you. I feel you. Love the fast load times. I always talk about the fast. I always talk about the fast load times a lot, but that's just because genuinely, I'm like, I'm feeling it, bro. It's just, it's just a good thing. Uh -huh. DK whiffs dangerously low on drive gauge, trying to, oh yeah, trying to jump out, but getting Look caught for it. The OD anti air unfortunately switches sides. Mm -hmm. Pressure. Now let's tighten it up. Nice parry. Take advantage of this burnout state. There you go. Lands the grab. Morphus taking the first round here in this third game. I think people forget that you can go for chip sequences sometimes. Because you could actually just end up, like, you could have probably killed just even off of not putting something that bad of a spot uh, by just going for an early super or whatever the case may be. But hey, you won the round. There's nothing really to analyze here. I love the patience from Morphus. TK whiffs, keeping that pressure on him. This is the confirm with the spiral arrow, but still, man, make sure they maintain those plus frames. Good anti air. Marissa players and these anti airs, man. I can barely do it with Larry, and all I gotta do is push two buttons. <laughs> oh, good back. Oh, that could have been her life. Oh, unfortunate. The idea was there. Unfortunately, the execution was not. TK Whiffs ties it up here. Oh, EX dive kick hitting a little bit too high. So, yep. Stab Pierce. Fast stab. Sorry, what the world? Forward round up. Oh, you're. Oh, oh good. he's gonna die. Explosion. Uh huh? Good, oh, goodbye, wow. Sweet Prince. No, didn't go for the EX Superman punch, but it's okay. Lands the shimmy into the medium, medium target combo and takes the third game here. Morphus is now up two to one. Oh man, dude. Now that, now man, that could have been that could have been really nasty. But but I mean that shimmy was still on point. Marissa, a surprisingly fast backwards walk speed, faster than you would yeah. expect for such a large character, and able to and mm -hmm. Morphus able to capitalize there with. God, her medium buttons are so good. That should be illegal. And and it's also the uh, the throw distances as well because of the fact that like a lot of people are, so the throw distances in this game are super super close. So like going for struck throws as much of a commitment as it was in Street Fighter Five. In this game, throws don't have priority, so a lot of the times you can mash if someone tries to go for a throw and tries to set you up for one. But you have to be ready to mash. You gotta you you gotta really really go for it. It's either mash or take the counter hit. One of those two things. And getting hit in this game, getting shimmy in this game is uh, it's crazy, bro. It, it is it is something already. <laughs> All right, here we go. A potential final game here on the winner's side. We'll see if TK Whiffs can bring it back. Morphus made some great adjustments after that first game. We'll see if maybe TK Whiffs can do so in kind. Good DP through him. So you saw a switch. No anti this time around. Trying to keep the pressure. Love the jab on that. Not much else you would be able to go for. DPs once again. I like it. Just forcibly both of them trying to take their turn back and being very proactive on their offenses, which is really impressive to see here in game four. Uh oh, oh, I'm gonna punish! Oh, burns himself out though, unfortunate there with the parry. Tries to, it looks mm -hmm. like they tried to go for the quarter circle back mm -hmm. scoop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here we go, here's burn out, eat this, and get stunned. Cammy, going against Cammy and burnout is not a fun time, and Morphus was there. Population you, my friend. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. just looking for her. Oh, I saw him churning something, they were ready. Plus frames, more, and eats the DI, unfortunately. Now, TK Wish with the... No, the yeah, meaty yeah. DI on the wake up. Oh, oh, I thought that jab would recover in time. Up in. 
Oh, he get punished for that. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, finally lands the punish on the scoop. There we go, TK Wish. It looks like those adjustments have been made. We've got us a tie set here, two to two on the winner's side. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, are we potential? What, what's happening? Are we getting a switch or are we getting a breather? I don't know. I'm not sure. I think it might be a breather. I think, uh, I think that if anything, it is still very important to just sort of take it and take in, take it and take out. Just sort of try and pace yourself as best as you can. Really? Oh, absolutely. Because the thing, because thing is that like that that match was very very proactive. It was like constantly back and forth. So, mm -hmm. I think that like it's uh, I think it's something very very crazy to be able to sort of be that proactive when it comes to offense because it's very easy to get distracted and very easy to like not be as aggressive in return even when you're in block stun. So I think that's something very important to be able to see. It's very tempting to mash rematch it's, it's, since it goes so fast, but sometimes you do got to take a second to cool your head, especially in a final game like this, the all-important game five. Wait, throw break. Spaced out the spiral arrow to make it safe. Wonderful spacing from TK Whiffs. Oh, got caught. Turn to the button. And it's all right. You Now remember, you don't have a life lead against Marissa until she's dead, so this could go either way. Oh, nice. The charge Gladius going right through the dome. What a parry on the EX scoop. We're going for plus frames. Here we go. Pressure. Swirl the throw. Both Get drive on. gauges in perilous situations here. Lewis lands the throw. The corner position is there. And here we go. The cami normals. Whiffs the dive kick, but unfortunately Morphus not ready for it and eats the drive impact. TK Whiffs is on set point. Uh -huh. Throw as well. Punches the kiss. You know what? That's a great call from Morphus. TK Whiffs has... N Marissa doesn't have a lot of strong wake-up options. Knew that TK Whiffs would go for a little more aggression. No! It doesn't connect! The level Kill 3! Kill Morphus. Wow! He he's, not for existence. The, he's not going for the full conversions. It's alright. She could have exploded more than that. Wow. No, oh, that, that should be it. Yeah, yeah, great usage of the EX Spiral Arrow and TK Whips wow. bringing it back after being down 2-1, to one, taking the set 3-2. to two. Good stuff from both players. But still winner's quarters final, so that means that Marissa Kaiden still has a way to bounce right back into the winner side of the bracket or even potentially even get a reset. He can have his rematch, but it's a matter of how well they'll be playing from this point on. And they got one more chance to make themselves known here. And to at least see if they can proceed for it in the bracket, but hey, it's not too bad. Not too bad, honestly. He's a very, very big fan of seeing a lot of these players sort of go neck and neck. We'll have winner semifinals up next as well, which will be a very, very good sign to see the fact that this tournament has been going by very, very smoothly and very quickly. <laughs> honestly, it's been oh. it's it's these matches go by hell fast. Yeah. Oh, you know, you love you love to see it. I mean. Every, you know, every now and then you blink and you, you know, someone is like, oh man, Marissa hit you and you died in five seconds. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, but, absolutely. Yeah, no, it just it, able to keep this, the fast load times and just everything able to keep things nice and smooth for us over here on this end. But yeah, I mean, winter side, no matter what tournament you're in, winter, staying on winter side is just an exercise in mental fortitude because... I mean, losers is a place that you want to avoid as at all costs. You're almost doubling the amount of matches that you need to play. And also, I mean, obviously the stress of if I lose, I'm out. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so staying on, staying on winner's side is, is not an easy feat. So those who are still there, I mean, prop props to you. I, you know, I'll tip my hat a little bit here, but, uh, oof. Great, great stuff from all the players so far. I'm glad to see some, I'm, I, I like seeing Marissa representation, you know, that, uh big bird here do like show, show big bird showing everyone the potential of the character and really incentivizing mm -hmm. people to give her a try it's always great to see for sure for sure yeah it's uh she's one of those characters that is where it's like once you see her it's like uh oh this is they, this is about to do ever, all of the damage or it's about to do nothing it, it depends on the player like it, it's it's it, it, it can be sort of 50 50 hit or miss but uh, at the end of the day 
We, all right, we got. It looks like we got a, some new character representation here. We got Luke, the boy, the poster boy, Chet, mm -hmm. and TK Wish back at it again with the cami. Mm -hmm. There we go. The throws. Welcome to Street Fighter Six. Doesn't nice. quite respond to the DI. Another oh. throw. Let's go for another one. Hit him with a DJ Khaled. No, goes for the shimmy instead. Oh. He was just being aggressive once again, just sort of keeping the pressure on, on the. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. No, e execute your game plan until they show that they know how to deal with it, and then change up your style. But if they don't have, if if they don't give you a reason to change what to, to adjust your game plan, mm -hmm. don't do it. That was a, an amazing dive kick there, baiting out the anti air, but an even better response with a drive impact here from Chet. Ops has to go for the side switch, goes for the, the meaty setup. Oh, Hook damage is absolutely insane. Three. That was just two interactions. Nice, go whiff what punish. What a whiff punish. Mm -hmm. Solid damage. Mash it even on wake up too, yeah. Hey, listen, oh, yeah, sometimes no. you just gotta do it. You hit me, I'm still mashing. Not quite enough to kill. But almost in burnout. This is an extremely three, dangerous sure situation. Oh, good Goes for the uppercut, but no, doesn't have enough. Mm -hmm. That level one, the sequence. Sandblaster 3000. Oh, that's a perfect. That was a sick perfect. confirm. Great stuff. Yeah. Oh, he dropped it. Mm -hmm. TK Wiss not wasting any opportunities, immediately starting the pressure. Crouch fierce into the throw, goes in mm -hmm. with the drive rush. We getting some more pressure. Get off of me, EX uppercut. Chet's drive gauge is looking dangerously low here. A trade there. Oh, wow, confirms the crouching medium kick yeah. into the drive rush and goes right into the level three, not wasting any time. Stay down, my friends. Yes, sir, Chet. Taking the first game here in winter semifinals, doing a great job in terms of really just being aware of a couple of things TK was going for. It wasn't able to punish any spinning back fist or anything like, like that. Nothing of the sort, but was able to punish those exactly. Hey, let's, I don't know if Chet heard me, but he said enough to make sure that I got my point, point across. He was ready. He, he's ready on multiple different occasions to punish those spiral arrows. Not spiral arrows, excuse me. Cannon spikes. He's more than ready to do that. Good use of the drive reverse there, but unfortunately oh, it runs God. right into the jabs of Luke. His jabs are so insane. They are very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh no, good. tries to check the drive rush. Unfortunately, just a little bit too much frame advantage there. Mm -hmm. there we, oh, there we go. Cammy with, Cammy with the normals. She's, like, she's got the spacing. She's got great footsies. Also long legs. Yes. And then Chet just not letting up. Keeping the foot on the gas the entire time. He lands a great EX dive kick right over the sand blast. Interrupts the spin knuckle as well. Ooh. Beast mode, baby. Here we go. But now you're in burnout. Let's see if maybe TK Whips can take advantage of this. Hey, oh, man, he's churning. He don't even oh, have any meter, and he's still churning. He just tried to DP. Uh -huh. uh, he got a little one off of that. Yep, he was nice. ready. He was ready. Makes a lot of sense. Alright, that's... Yeah. Uh, clean two games to zero there from Chet, but still not out of this yet. Needs to get one more. DK Wish made the adjustments before, so this is not out of the realm of possibility. Not at all. Spiral Arrow manages to post things up at the time. Oh no, it drops the combo. Yeah, look at the spacing that Chet is maintaining here, really forcing TK Whiffs to take huge risks with those deep dive kicks. Nice. Crouch, medium punch. Oh, could have punished with a sweep. Wasn't quite ready for it. Thank you. Nice. Now get off of me. Get the oh, he got the EX uppercut. Lands the back throw to switch positions. Trying to keep him caged there, but TK Whiff's doing a wonderful job of fighting their way out of the corner. Lands the crouch medium kick into the drive rush cancel and baits the DP to take this round. Oh no. 
seen this situation for TK West before. Tries to start with the Spire Earl and gets caught. Alright, walk it back. Frame kill. Oh, didn't match that time. Shield inside of chat. No, e even though they've been hit by the meaty setups from there every time, they're still mashing. I respect the confidence, but Chet is going to land the level 3 here, regenerate some of that drive gauge. Baited the meter. TK Whiffs has an opportunity here to play extremely aggressive. Yeah, he gained a kill here. Oh, no, yeah. Maybe I'll. Oh, oh he, no. he didn't get the final hit! He could have just charged it! Uh oh. And he's no, got no meter either. Magic. Drive up Fierce? Yep. Drive up Fierce again. Oh, he's getting hit on purpose! <laughs> Chet? Yeah. Oh, I it gave you... him enough meter! Chet, I give you a round of applause. He got hit on purpose twice because he didn't want to get stunned. On top of the fact that it's just just exactly as you mentioned it, getting hit twice in those scenarios gave him enough meter to be able to get ready for the level one. I love it. The one time where it is where like getting hit is absolutely necessary. Because had he gotten hit, he would have died and ended up losing the set. I was not losing the set, excuse me, losing the game. Oh my. Chet in a commanding position here, but now okay. the stun comes through. Unfortunately, still a little bit too much health to kill. Goes into the level three to regenerate some drive gauge and keep Chet in burnout just that little bit longer. But he's about two combos away. You got to open him up two more times, but it isn't going to happen. Chet is ready with the drive impact. Give me that suppressor. One, two, three of them. And Chet takes the set three to zero. Woo. Yes, sir. That was intense. It was not bad at all. Yeah. I mean, Chet was just ready once again to be in a scenario where they were doing a, honestly, like TK, I mentioned it before. TK did some good things. Was really good on, really knew what they wanted to do on their offense. Caught a lot of people off guard. And at the end of the day, a lot of it was You moved a little far from your mic, brother. Uh, uh, you uh, you can pressure as much as you could. That's weird. I'm literally the, the same distance, actually. Okay, that's weird. I don't know what's going on. Who knows? But uh, but uh, hey, listen, technology is technology at the end of the day. Uh, if if anything, though, I would say that like it's interesting to be able to see TK play in the way that they did because somebody is that would be ready for it, like Chet, wouldn't really be caught as off guard by it, especially if they're like I said, if they're ready for it. If they're ready to put things down, then that's that's just sort of how it is. Like it's it's really really uh it's it's it can be rough it can be rough when you have a set strategy or something it is that you want to consistently be able to rely on and you mm -hmm. don't get that opportunity to do so because someone's either just ready for it or you know that's just how it goes. Yeah, I mean, such is the nature of Street Fighter. I mean, in any fighting game, you got to adjust to each player as as their habits uh, un you know reveal themselves, but. It looks like the next match that we're going to get here on stream is going to be our winners finals. Jimmy DR made it made it through their their match on the other side of winners, and it'll be yeah Jimmy G, Jimmy DR and Chet right here on the on our winners finals here. Everyone else is fighting it out against the sharks in the losers bracket. We got our our potential final bosses here coming up. Absolutely, yeah. Oh man, but just got to be able to see some th things going down just for the time being, just for a little bit once you know stuff gets. Manages to get set up, but it will be Jimmy DR versus Chet, so it will be Luke versus Marissa once things actually get, you know, put in the game and things like that. So it won't be won't, won't be too bad. It'll be pretty nice to be able to see what's been going on for the most part. It's been uh, it's been uh, pretty dope so far, but you know, once again, sometimes things can take a little bit longer than we anticipate. We are going to head to a quick trailer real quick, and then when we're back, we will get another opportunity to see some more Street Fighter Six. Don't go anywhere, guys. Yeah, stick around. Are you ready, World Warriors? Capcom and Teals have joined forces again to bring it. Capcom Pro Tour World Warrior. Look! Spectacular action! Feel sensational thrills! Don't miss out on your chance to go to Capcom. Capcom Pro Tour World Warrior. Welcome back in, everybody. Welcome in, welcome in. 
couple of short trailers just for you guys to be able to see, get ready for the War of Warrior action it is that has been happening. CPT is really, really around the corner. It's not that long before we actually end up seeing in CPT, see top eight of all these wonderful regions coming together to see the best players duke it out for their chance at a mill. Here we are back at Digital Havoc. See Jimmy DR versus Chuck. Nice, nice crouching medium punch there to catch the Superman punch right out the air. Wonderful reaction, the crouching medium punch into the drive impact. Mm -hmm. Where's the, where's the charge heavy punch? I don't know, Marissa got a okay. knockdown, it begins. Suppressor Ooh, wow, coming suppressor. through. Mm -hmm. Friend kill. Go for the Schmidies. Oh, he thought, he thought it was My over. Word. He what? wasn't used to seeing that the was disgusting. Off the I love it. Do it again. It was, he, he, he was not expecting it to be charged as long as it was. He was not expecting that. He thought it was over. Oh, man. That was great. I love it. I mean, I am stealing that. Mm -hmm. Oh, we get some drive damage. We charge up them, Gladius. No, oh, had the parry stance, unfortunately let it go just a little bit too early. Chet is in burnout though. This is where Marissa's gonna shine. She's gonna chip you down. What a perfect parry. Look at all these normals, they swangin'. Mm. Level up, level three, yep. Yeah. Just to make sure they can get them around. I like yeah, it. You gotta, you gotta confirm against her. You don't, you don't got the life lead till she's dead. Absolutely. Right, you get meter you back pretty like fast in this game too. You get me you get meter back pretty uh pretty fast in this game too. So I like the use of the level three colored around, even though they didn't need to use level three, you could use level two, but I absolutely hundred percent understand the reasoning to just burn it off. Yeah, I mean I mean as you're saying, look, he's already he basically has a meter already. Right. Yeah, but one bar. No. Oh no, he's not gonna fall for it again? No, not oh, this time. Oh, an unfortunate punish. Stunned. Yeah, this not mess with the frame this data won't a little be bit dead? too much. Oh wait, yes it will be. Oh my god. Oh, you're dead. dead as hell. She's protecting the skies. Really. For some reason, doing like either forward round house or back or back fierce into quarter circle forward, like OD, like with a little step kick. When she does that, for some reason, you charge the back back fierce after that and you are you do so much damage. The DP unfortunately does not connect. Nice punish there with the medium, medium target combo. Puts Chet into burnout. Here we go. Jimmy taking advantage of this burnout state. Nice challenge from Chet, but a better anti air from Jimmy. Oh, you could see Chet churning. Oh, he was yeah. making that yeah. milk into butter. Unfortunately, unable to react. Burns it all. Oh. And then yep, gets the meaty command grab. And Jimmy takes the first round here in the second game. Mm, mm. Uh, right in the jaw. Yeah, gotta be careful. Oh Stop. man, this is just this is so dirty. Dead. Not quite ready. Mm -hmm. What? That's a Marissa round. It, it happens. It, you yep. know what happens to the best of us, y'all. Exactly. You you look away. I I think I I blinked slightly. I had to cough off to the side, and Marissa won. It sounds about right. You know. Just as, just as Street Fighter intended. Great awareness there. Opting to go for the corner instead of the um, instead of the damage. Here we go. We get the perfect parry. We got some scaling. Not anymore. We got the drive impact resets. Nice. Plus frames. Charging up. Got to do super ramp punch. Great shimmy. Oh, I'll have to go for the safe jump instead. You know what? Actually, that's really smart. When you're in burnout like that. Mm -hmm. uh oh. Oh uh -oh. no! Get rocked. The this suppressor the coming through again. again. That move is so good. Good Beast. buffer. Oh man. Yeah. Chet was ready. This guy just out of principle has become one of my favorite people to watch actually. <laughs> <laughs> like like just watching it here. I actually love the fact that no matter how down it is that they are, their reactions don't change. They're always they're still ready. 
Oh, absolutely. I love no, the they, fight no matter what the situation is, they're still going to be swinging. Wonderful challenge there with the crouch jab. Manages to alleviate the pressure just a little mm. bit, but the crouch medium punch catches him right in the shins. And now Jimmy DR is sitting here on set point. One round away from heading to the grand finals. Guys, look forward. Bounce off the wall. See what's going on here? Trying to push him even closer. Gap, stand, fear. Just to open things up. Jump in. Mm. Oh, Drive gauge is looking perilous here for Chet. Gotta be be careful with those drive impacts. That... Mm. I'm gonna spend the bar. No, we're Red going kill. for the meaties. You're gonna burn it up. Yeah. Yep. I, this should be enough to. T oh, absolutely. That, oh man, that hurts. Yeah. That level two does a lot. Level twos and level one. Level ones do like the most minuscule damage, and they also seem to scale the hardest. But level twos and level threes do a lot of damage. Chet is not out. Yeah, no. Chet is not down and out just yet. Manages to get a game on the board, but Jimmy Dr is coming in with a statement here. Wants to close out this set before anything gets too out of hand, and that is definitely one way that it can get out of hand. Chet with a great response with the drive impact goes for the side switch, lands the shimmy. Oh. Maintaining core positioning very well from Chet. Try to see if they can get away with punish again. Oh, punish, yep, yeah, absolutely. Nice punish on the charge knuckle. Oh, oh punish, no, but now we got a punish of our own. It's not going to quite be enough to kill. Drops the combo a little bit, but it's mm. okay. It was a reset. It was all calculated. Yes, sir. American reset. North American reset. Still buffering. Just walking. Oh, got him. Respected. It's unfortunate that that quarter circle back heavy punch is just not connecting at the end of those combos. Oh no, this is gonna hurt. Goes for the safe jump. And that drive gauge is looking mm. mighty hungry. Was it spinning low with three kills? Confident enough to be able to win the round regardless, but might pop it is. Nope. Chat's gonna save it for now. That's a better opportunity. We got one round to work with here. Oh, the parry stance coming oh. through and a punish. Both these guys sitting on level three. On set point yet again. And and crouching RNG, medium kick that will rule the world. Oh, we'll try to wow. go for the setup once again. Trying to find damage Good back can, roll there forward. from Jimmy, not wanting any of those, not wanting any business with those throw loops. Oh, it's not spread fast. Here we go. We, the foot sees the neutral, doesn't commit to the crouch medium kick. Suppressor oh, okay. coming Suppressor. through yet again. Send it all. Send it all. Oh, he reset her. <laughs> Jimmy thought Jimmy let go of the controller or something. He thought I he mean, was dead already. I don't blame him. If he landed that combo, he was dead. But. It's the classic, what are you standing up for? Chet coming through, ties it up. We're 2-2, the final game here. Oh yeah, you gotta be careful, fam. That's not how that works. It's real messed up. It's real messed up out here in these streets. You have multiple hits of armor with that ES version. Oh. There you go. Oh. Yeah, Sandblaster 3000, get me out of here. Oh no, nice. no just ca barely coming. catches the edge of the hurt mm -hmm. box there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Man, yeah, yeah. Do it, do it in style. T ask him where he's going. Take his lunch money. Jimmy right. DR on set point yet again. Potentially for one last time. Let's see if he can close it out or check can make it a, take us to a final round. Oh, oh hurt. Harry coming oh. through for Jimmy. Oh, oh he went under. That happens quite a bit with that. You gotta be careful about using that in this game. The drive reversal. I like the aggressiveness of it. Oh, now we got both characters in burnout. Let's see who can play a better. Let's see who can play Street Fighter 2 better. Nice. We don't got the drive system. All we got is neutral. We got some foozies. He's up and uh, uh, really two again. Trying that butter. Oh, goodbye, sweet prince. Mm -hmm. Dead. No, I like he he likes his chin. Please give it back. 
turn to dust, and that's going to be the winner's final set goes to Jimmy DR. They will move on into grand finals as they wait for their upcoming opponents. Yeah, definitely a fitting representative to be the final boss here in this tournament. I mean, <laughs> Marissa definitely looks like a raid boss if I've ever seen one in my life. Yeah, Marissa's Ooh. awesome. I, I really like seeing that character a lot. There's a lot of damage, lots of fair and balanced damage, 100%. Oh, she, yeah, absolutely. Fair, balanced, mm -hmm. you know, totally worth it. Mm -hmm. See, and the thing is, like... I play a lot of I play Zangief mainly, so a lot of times mm. whenever I go into a matchup, even a bad matchup, I'm like, you know what? I can use my health as a resource. Oh, I took a hit. Oh no, what whatever will I do? It's fine. I've got an extra like 200 health. But with Marissa, like, even though I've got all that extra health, I can't. You still can't make mistakes against her. She's still two tapped Zangief. <laughs> of all people, she's like, oh, oh no. <laughs> I actually ha I have to play neutral. I have to actually be solid against this character. Man, no wonder no wonder this matchup is such a mental block for me. Yeah, right. But, man, no, just great stuff from both players. Chet managing to bring it back to a final game, made some wonderful adjustments, and, you know, mm. even got a couple, of, a couple of fortunate moments there, but Jimmy DR able to close it out and seal the deal. Chet is going to be waiting in loser's finals for whatever mm. unfortunate soul has to run into that Luke. I'm not jealous of you. I'm not jealous of you yeah. on the slightest, so <laughs> may the odds be ever in your favor, whoever you may be. Thanks. That's facts. We're waiting for the losers' quarterfinals match to get set up. These things have been going pretty fine and pretty apace for the mo most part. Just waiting for things to go ahead and proceed onward as would be expected. It's not too yeah. bad, actually. So far, yeah. all the and matches that we've seen. Yeah, make sure that you also go get in there and uh, support and support the Macharino. You know, just the link just dropped in the chat right now, so you know, give it a nice little clicky click here. Log in. You can use any, pretty much any social media at this point. You got Facebook, Google, YouTube, mm -hmm. Twitch, Twitter, Discord, even Battle.net if you're into Blizzard games. I'm personally not, if that's, if I can just say so myself. Mm -hmm. they, do they even got line on here? I don't understand why. But, you know, just log in, click that big old blue button, claim the code, and we're going to add 25 cents to the pot. You know, let's show these players some love, make sure they can get some big dinner, get some guacamole with their chipotle. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Fox, Fox, DJ. We're going to be seeing with the obtuse moves versus Truth on the Aki yet again. Mm -hmm. Let's see if the Truth can handle this, can perform a little better here in this matchup. DJ, a notorious character here, doing insane damage. Oh man, the Truth is coming through. Back throw. Forward throw. Hey, to go for the shimmy, the shimmy but a nice challenge. Button. Mm hmm. Jeez. Oh, Good and stuff. it's enough to kill the truth. Taking the first mm -hmm. round here. Nice. You know, Good I really throw. I respect that the I respect that the truth is willing to mash buttons so often, not letting uh, two moose really do nothing's gonna be fake. If you're gonna hit me with anything, it better be real and it better be tight. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a rhythm check. He's got the rhythm. He's got the rhyme mm. and the side switch. Yes, sir. Oh, no, but just switches again. Oh. Level three. Yeah, agreed. This just actually wouldn't kill. I actually don't think it will kill at all. I don't think it does. No, you're right. You're right. He's got a pixel. You're so alive. Uh, mm hmm. Nice. Mm. The standing heavy kick manages to catch him landing, and the truth takes the first game here. Oh, there we go. The poison has been applied. Unfortunately, a little bit too far to, to continue the combo after the crouch moving kick. There we go. Maximum jackknife. Get off of me. Oh, that hurts. That sounds so beefy when it hits. It does. Go right for after. Was ready for it. Wow, he recovered in time? Yep, the damage strike throw mix. Mm -hmm. Oh, he could have went for the infinite there, actually. Yeah, now you gotta pay for it. Yep. Nice micro walk forward into the throw. Of two smooths is on the board. DJ's fast movement speed really allows. Like, you could barely see him move. It feel, he feels like he's got a longer throw range. Nice. Nice DP. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why does that anti air? Please tell me. I have no idea. <laughs> Not at all. Oh, dude, this one so much damage. Oh, this hurts so bad. Not bad. The pixel. Oh my! Bro, wait a minute. He's got literally no meter. Uh oh, okay. wait a minute. Carry to the corner. Oh, oh, missed the timing of the wake up uh, of the meeting. Oh, that was so Turned unfortunate. But a great, you know, a great uh, decision to wake up, Jab. I mean, you're right. You're in burnout. You've got no meter. It's good. You're gonna have to deal with the mix up anyway, and you got the health to survive. Might as well go for the jab, and maybe gets maybe maybe it'll work out in your favor. That roundhouse, really solid, really good answer here. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh man, dude, he slid so far. Yeah, yeah. There might be a lot of blockers almost. He can kill here. Oh wow, true. Dropping a combo again, but just going for the straight up reset actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. nice punish on the block slide. Mm -hmm. Yep. Pays out the DP. We're gonna do it again. No, didn't get I wasn't the extension, aware of the confirm you can actually get it. Yeah, you can get a huge combo off of that. Mm -hmm. Good block on the overhead there. That back, that back heavy kick is so good. No, does the wake up level one? Not a lot of damage, unfortunately, but it does apply the poison. Trades on the anti-air. Oh wow, matches. The truth. Just recognize the distance so far. So far, truth two, two has two. two. One. The truth yeah, has two, two and Moose has one. Oh, Moose has one, yep. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Great awareness there from the truth, good. not using the heavy whip, knowing that it was a little bit too far. There we go, man. Aki's anti airs are so annoying. Throw. Throw. Driver. No, get off of me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The classic. Just decides to challenge. No punish on the Sobot. You know, actually, I don't even know if she can punish it. It's a little far. I think she can. I think Stan. Uh, Sobot is, I believe, minus six. Something. Minus anytime, five you or rolling, uh, anytime you use rolling Sobot and it's not in, in pressure, uh, wait, actually, hold on. That's exactly why I have we, these notes. Exactly. Nice anti air with the jackknife. Cruel fate going right over the fireballs. Great stuff there from the truth. You know, we got these combos. Tries to yeah, walk up and get six. the throw. Right. Yeah. Minus six on the Sobot kick, so she absolutely can't punish. Oh, didn't go for a didn't go for a big punish there. Ops just for the punish counter throw after blocking the DP. Truth is still in a good situation. They're up around. They've got a big life lead, but they are in burnout. Oh, oh there we go. Grab. Finally nice. gets him. Gets the command grab. Truth is right on four. There we go. Three the one. truth will move on, taking the set three to one. The obtuse moose unfortunately has been eliminated from the tournament, but still a good showing there. Yeah, not a bad showing at all. So really, really well done. Yeah, it looks like... Yeah, so the truth will be moving on to our losers semi-finals. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. TK Whiffs and Black Shikamaru did... They... Oh, man. Looks like the Sharks had a, had a meal today. Man, and... and oh, they, were no, they were no joke either. They were really good. I'm afraid of who mm -hmm. took them out. <laughs> Drayson. Drayson took them out. I believe oh, I have seen no. Drayson before... I think I have. I have to get reminded of some of the stuff it is he did. Because I think I see him on. I know he was on Nine Moons at one point, and I know he was on TNS at one point. So I just have to remember who it was that he played. But he has played before, and he didn't. He didn't do bad at all, actually. On some of the places, some of the places that he did TNS, he made ninety seventh, but that's out of a two hundred and fifty four person pool. And he made seven seventeenth at the Street Fighter Academy, and at uh at, and on um, Nine Moons. So, it's uh, Oof. it's really really. Still a, a solid player overall, honestly, I would say.
Just adds more than Sala. That dude's a killer. Yeah. They're really well done. No, I'm, 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 you know, I'm, I'm happy to see so much character variety here. I mean, again, yeah. obviously Aki, one of the newer, obviously still relatively new, but still getting representation in these tournaments against some yeah. strong players. You know, we had a couple of Kami's, a couple of Marissa's, a Luke, a DJ. You know, obviously I'd love to see my boy Zangief, but I'm biased. It's okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, hey, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm saying like this is, I'm gonna just, you know, repeat what it is that I've said before. I think it's great to be able to see as much player expression as we have in this fighting game. I think that at the end of the day, player expression is one of the most important things you could ever possibly have in a fighting game or any in any game in general. Any character-based game it is that you play that you enjoy, I 100% think that player expression is the most important thing. I love how I can see multiple characters and all of them do something different. Like 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 all the players are playing them in a different way. None of them are playing oh, yeah. the same. I think that is really really awesome to be able to see that's why we see so much character variety all the characters are strong they have good tools it's just a matter of uh effectively doing them yeah no the pilot of the character is it's just as important if not more important and we got the truth coming through with the aki and drayson this fame this famed killer that i've only just now seen for the first time on the jamie love to see some representation of our boy mm -hmm. absolutely Jamie, one of those characters that is where people are saying they don't feel that he is at, as strong. I think the more it is that we've seen him, that has become a little less true. Not the strongest character imaginable, but a good one. Better than what people were willing to give him. Credit. Oh, absolutely. I'm I'm a Jamie up player, personally. So, oh, mm -hmm. nice jumping over the medium whip. Mm -hmm. We're getting... Burns him, get, lands a throw, but does burn themselves out. But Drayson is just one throw away. Showing up the way in. Good air to air. air, air jump light kick. That's the first round. Yeah, the truth. Clutching it out. Burnout's a scary situation, especially against a character like Jamie, who can mm. really punish you for it. Lands the whiff punish. Amazing stuff. Nice, I love it. Love the oh, that reaction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait. Okay, that combo was sexy. I've never seen that before. Yeah. That was so dope. That's a, that, 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 that is a very, very... Uh, that's, a, that's a... It should be more common. It's a common Jamie combo. If you play Jamie, you know that combo. Okay, maybe I need to learn some Jamie. Lands the jab Jamie's got on the awesome landing recovery. Combos. Jamie sauce. has so much sauce in this game, it's crazy. He's really cool. EX Palm. <laughs> no, not quite, in <clears throat> not quite in range of the Rekka. Mm -hmm. hey. oh, we got one. Wow, the recovery on that whip is so long. The jump had enough time. Slides out of there, though. That's the boss hit. Oh, man. Another jump in right over the bubble. Are we going to confirm it? No, we're going to hold on to it. Going to save the super for a potential kill combo. And this might Killer. be it. Level three. Yep. He's dead. Oh, yeah, you're done. Oh, train. We're too slow, baby. Face the kill. Was right on. No, oh, yeah, no. Drayson throwing the ice in the veins. Losing the first round. It's fine. Got to make it fair. We get two. Yeah, Drayson won that one. Okay. Yeah. Two hits, in my house. Oh, he could have punked. Maybe he could have punked. Actually, I don't know. From that distance, uh, I'm about to check it out. It was pretty far. He lands the meaty DI. We got three drinks now. Command grab is on deck. Good jabs there from the truth. No, not quite close enough to make that tight. And what a great challenge there with a standing medium kick from Drayson. And there we go. The crouching medium kick shall rule the world indeed. Takes the first round. Oh, trying to see if he can, I guess, anti-air with the palm? He did EX and he delayed the time which he did EX. So I think he was assuming it was hit. It would hit. Mm -hmm. No poison's been applied. No, but the crouch medium kick again. 
bro. Lands a nice grab. Oh, a little bit too early on that throw there. Burns himself out. We're probably gonna go into the level three here. This, I don't know. I don't think That's this is enough. Yeah, this is 100 percent enough because he gets a follow up afterwards. Oh, you're right. You're right. The follow up is gonna kill. Yep. Okay, so, ooh, oh, so far. Very fast. Not I good. always forget that he, even in burnout, he still gets something. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, I oh, yeah. Did you see that swap? I, I did. I did see the swap. Mano. Yes, sir. <laughs> I've been talking about her a little bit earlier, too, about the fact that I didn't feel like that she was that solid of a character, that she was like as strong as people thought that she was, but it's, uh, it's something, all right. You know, like Manon, she's definitely not as strong as some of the characters like the like the Kens, the JPs, even the Chun Li's and things like that. But her buttons are really her buttons are really good. Her like her her lights are oppressive. Her heavy kick reaches so far and it's not really feasible to punish. She's got some sauce, but you got you gotta have the sauce as well as a player. Look at that that overhead right there. It's safe. Get some pressure. Nice hit confirm into the Rekka. We got one drink. No, gets the counter hit confirm. Also, all of her, uh, all those follow ups aren't, uh, those, those hit follow ups, all of them aren't, uh, aren't safe. They can all be punishable. I think at the most, that overhead one, I think it's minus five, so it's more frame to take care of it. Oh man, goes for the schmick schmicks, even on hit. Yeah, this should be enough to close it out. Burns everything. No, drop the combo. But luckily manages to whiff punish that jab with a with a jump in. Yeah, we got one drink. Truth at two sitting here at two medals. Doesn't quite connect the combo there. Nice challenge from Drayson. Overhead, smack him on the dome. Oh, yes, the sauce. It's so good. There we go, wake up super. She don't got any reversals. She got to spend the meter. There we go, that's three. Lands the jump in. Unfortunately, doesn't believe and doesn't commit, but the jump, the jump roundhouse. She reaches so far with them long legs. Go back throw. Three medals already in the sock for true, so this can be looking pretty dangerous. End up on the other side. Just two drinks for free off of that. Yep. There we go. Let's see who the better grappler is now, Manon. Here we go. What's messed up is that if she gets command grabbed here and he level three, she would just throw that by. Uh, they, I don't think he's going to get a chance. Level four Jamie with super and drive gauge. This isn't gonna kill. It's gonna scare too much. We're gonna do the full conversion. Yeah. Oh see? man, you're right. Just the magical pixel of magic. Here we go. Gets crossed up. Do not drive oh, it back to. No. Yeah. Okay. Jamie, I was just saying. To confirm just... The combo. Yeah, they weren't able to do that. They they weren't able to confirm the combo, and their HP was so low that like drive impacting just wasn't going to be a good it just wasn't gonna work it just wasn't gonna work at all because it was just it was just too much to try and see if you could like keep stagger pressure whatever the case may be Manon doesn't really have good stagger pressure like that even her like her infinite which would stand um stand medium punch even that is still punishable you won't get a punish counter off of it but if you mash crouch light or if you mash her four frame then it'll trade automatically it's going to trade every time so she can't even go for that it was a really rough scenario to be even a burnout, even a burnout, you can you can match your four frame and it'll trade with uh, with that. People say that it's an okay. infinite, and it is an infinite. But if you have the luck, lead and she keeps doing that, just mash. You're gonna stay ahead of her in terms of damage. It's really really good. Oh, there we, no there way. we go. Found the legend coming in with the knowledge. <laughs> no way. I'm always so afraid to mash. Oh no no, I get it because you are in burnout, so you don't want to be in a situation where like you mash to. Uh, mash too late or mash mash too late and then end up getting counter hit or you mash too early and then end up potentially like well in that case in burnout you wouldn't really be able to mash early it would only be too late you could only just end up with a counter hit scenario 
but you you want to mash up like as soon as you see it come out you want to normally hit like crouch like punch or something if they if they're only doing like the stand the stand medium punch then it's it, it trades every time you, you got the life lead that's what i do every time people always try and do that and try to they can like stuck me out and keep me in infinite pressure and as long as you mash crouch light you know that you're, or whatever your four frame is you're sure you nice, make here we go. Life lead. yeah we got we got our losers finals here we got chet on the luke and Drayson with the Jamie. Drayson making this huge roaring path through the loser's bracket. Let's see if Chet will be the next victim or if Chet will put an end to this story. Mm, no, nice that's, so. oh, what a response with the drive impact. Tries to go through the sandblast. Get off of me, you DP, but does put yourself in a burnout. Yep, yeah, now you're in a really bad spot. Are this no, no, I didn't even know that it was that unsafe. That's, that's what I'm saying. You just constantly jump and just try to play around the chip. Now they Might got their well, the, chip, the chip is no longer a threat, but it is if you get rocked right in the face. Try to dash in to try to see if you can move forward and end up being caught by the projectile. Try to maintain that pressure. Crouch medium punch. Cool. I think punches plus one on block, loops it, so it's very, very strong. Davey also has a plus one block normal, his stand medium punch is plus one, so it's pretty effective. Both of them can sort of steal turns back. I didn't even know that combo. Ugh. Just wake up jab, no respect. Nice, and the crouch medium kick. Buffered right into the sandblast, and Chet takes the first game of this loser's final set. Mm -hmm. Nice EX Palm, able to get two drinks right off the bat. We have five seconds in. He's already halfway tipsy. Mm -hmm. Oh, missed it. There you go, the crouch fierce. Space out the sweep to make it safe enough. Oh, he could have killed. He just put everything yeah, maybe. able to pull up level one. It's all right. It was all calculated. Decided to go for the overhead. Drace on on the board. The blocks. Nice shimmy. Unfortunately, just a little bit too late on that stand heavy punch. Nice back throw here from Drayson. We got one drink on the board now. Two. Nice. Man, Jamie's walk speed is absolutely insane. And Drayson mm -hmm. making great usage of it. Put in a rock. Level three. Yep. Mm -hmm. Gotta does. close it out. There you go, Drayson. On the board here. Tying it up at one game apiece. I'm glad you mentioned the walk speed because the walk speed actually is a one of Jamie's strengths, one of his best strengths in my opinion. It was a very, very good job. Yeah, I mean he, he needs that he needs that strong back walk speed to walk away and get those drinks safely. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right, we already got two. Nice DP anti-air there from Chet. Baits mm -hmm. out the DP, the back roundhouse. Oh my god, look at this damage. This is Zangief yep. super level damage. What in the world? Good patience and a great anti air there from Drayson. I love how he gets anti air and it doesn't deter him from jumping in the slightest. There is no fear in this right. man, and I respect it. Sometimes you gotta catch so your opponent off guard. Sometimes you can't be as predictable. It's, it's just how it goes whenever somebody gets mad at you for mashing or whenever somebody like gets upset that you're doing the same thing over and over again Bam. i'm not gonna play the game by your rules until you prove that you can punish me enough consistently enough or something like that i'm not gonna stop doing it. so i get it i have a very solid mental to be able to do that too the team oh, man, game two plan, get thrown first okay maintaining pressure Chet in a really rough position here. That drive gauge is looking mighty low, but now, no, he's opting to still go in even with that drive gauge. Burns himself out now, but you know what? It closes out the round. No, it doesn't. It's fine. Nice. It was a setup. Yeah. 
We'll throw two one for Chet. According to his calculations, you whiff you whiff the knuckle, you get the grab. True. Alright. Grayson opening up with a throw here, gets a drink on the board. Nice confirm into the crouching medium punch drive rush. We got the corner positioning now. Tries to bait out some kind of something from Drayson, but great patience. Wow. Just punches him out of the air. Get out of here. Nice perfect parry there from Drayson. Unfortunately, not able to confirm into much else. Chat's keeping Chet. it clean. Yeah, Chet one round away from getting this salty run back in Grand Finals. Mm -hmm. Good check on the dash. Didn't believe in the jab punish, though. Mm -hmm. No, not quite close enough for the grab and great whiff punish there from Chet. Oh. Okay, that was an anti air and on the jump in. Oh, he tried to suppress for him. Yeah, that's different. That's Jamie right there. Oh, he's. Is he dead? No way, right? Is Luke Sue? No, he's. No, nah, he's alive. Whoa, wait, 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 no, wait, he wait. He's dead. He's 100% oh dead. Oh my god! I saw how much those punches were doing. I'm like, wait a minute, what? Dude, God said to Memphis, get yourself some barbecue, my friend. Jeez. Chet. Oh my word! Well, that's that's three one. Bro, that's... I was gonna see how much those punches were doing, and I'm like, wait, he actually is dead. Like that's was... insane. You know, it's it's it's, it's he needs it. Mm -hmm. He needs it. <laughs> All three supers doing so much damage, but there you go. Looks like we're gonna have a rematch here in our grand finals. We're gonna have Chet on the Luke and Jimmy Dr on the Marisa. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love these salty run backs. We'll see if, I mean, that last set that they had was so close. It was three to two and it went back and forth the whole time. So we'll see. Maybe we're going to get a repeat of what we'll get a repeat of what we saw earlier in winners finals. Yeah, uh, hopefully so. Hopefully so. Hopefully so. I mean, it will be once again, Jimmy DR versus Chet, as you were mentioning, it says a rematch from earlier in the tournament bracket. So we will be seeing Marissa versus Luke once again. I wonder if Chet's got any things it is that he's going to try and keep in mind. To see if this could work out a lot better. Yeah, I mean, honestly, in that winner's final set, it was it was just a couple of small interactions that could have gone either way. So maybe mm. not some big game plan changes need to happen. Uh, more than anything, the fact that um, the fact that Jimmy's been sitting there and hasn't really been playing. Mm -hmm. Maybe gives them a chance to cool off while Chet has just finished their set here. So you know, yeah. the warmth is there. They're nice and limbered up. Got them combos ready. Got the perfect knuckles all ready to go. So, you know, maybe that'll make a difference. Give give uh, Chet a chance to build some momentum at the beginning of the set. But they do have to take advantage of that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to take some it'll take some time to be able to see if they can actually properly adjust from the earlier matches that have been played. But at the end of the day, I would say that it all comes down to this very final match. Here we are in Grand Finals. Jimmy DR versus Chet. All right. Chet starting off strong here. Oh, no. But the drive rush heavy punch connects. Oh, jumps right on in. Yeah, Jimmy just putting on the pressure here with no fear. Go, the medium, medium connects. Not going to quite be enough to kill, but just one mix away. Level one. Oh, Lord, there's caught him. Drops it once again. Oh, that should be death. Oh, actually, he won't get enough bar for it. And Chad has to be oh, careful. We right. need to get some level two super. Wow, the super punch to go for the fireball. So unfortunate, but great timing there from Jimmy DR and great reaction there from Chet responding to the drive rush immediately with the crouch medium kick. Manages to keep the corner. Throws her out of the parry stance. Nice throw break. Oh, here we go. Go to sleep. No, baits it. Probably not going to spend the meter to save it for the next round. Yeah, no. 
There we go. Baits the jump with the regular throw and lands the anti-air. Nice. Oh. Good. Plus, oh, yeah, oh, this is gonna hurt. Better, she actually. charged it up all the way. Yeah, Goes yeah, for the yeah. reset. Oh, grabbing straight out of it. The parry again. Another punish counter throw. She may be our first game here in Grand Finals. So it's good. Man, even her throws are brutal. She just picks you up and punches you. <laughs> mm hmm. That really, these, oh man, so close. And the corner pressures from Marisha, Marissa and you're in burnout. Nice anti-air there from oh. Jimmy DR. Lands the full charge on the knee. Goes for the reset again. Same story, different chapter yet again. And oh man, Jimmy is rampaging through this set. Nice, good job, man. Nice, perfect Can parry. No, tricks to throw. It wasn't guaranteed. No punish counter. Mm. Suppressor. I'll punish. Mm. Fucking back and forth. Here they are. Can jump over. Man punch. Oh, there's the anti air to have that DP ready. Mm. Yikes. Man, Jim, Jimmy is just on point with these throw breaks, not letting it, not, no break in the defense. Oh, he's not driving that. He's probably going to be ready. He's not ready! Yo, so there, look. Oh, <laughs> he just no! The just the buffer into the level three. Thought about it for a moment and thought, nah. Got it ended. Got to end it in some style. Right. A cinematic finish. Mm -hmm. Oh man, and we're, here we go. We're going right into this potential final game here. Reminder: This is a first to three. Jimmy is on winner's side, so he just has to take this one game, and that'll be it. Oh, Good job hitting the brace, and a parry. great perfect parry here from Chet. Good interruption on the Superman punch. Nice for that here. Mm -hmm. The whip punishes from Chet are really coming through here in that round. Let's see if he can keep it up. Mm. Mm -hmm. She's already got the corner. This is so insane, but a great challenge there with the crouch jab. And we out. Oh, nice. good shimmy. Still block him. Good jump back. Smart kick tough. to get out of there. Oh, Another parry. wake up perfect parry. Burns himself out though. This could potentially be dangerous. Oh, dead. Dead. Oh. No! Oh, I've never high. seen that whiff in my life! Stunned! No. Oh my goodness! What? I've never seen that whiff in my life! I didn't know that was even possible to whiff. Oh no, Jimmy DR taking advantage of some unfortunate situations and now sitting here on tournament point. Oh, unfortunate. Crouch medium punch from Marissa. That's so much work. That's another bar drive getting. Trying to pick the throws. Good parry there. Suppress her again! That's absolutely the answer for that. He knows that. Oh, this, is, this battle is about to explode. This is going to be crazy. Just one hit away. Jimmy does have level three. You even eat a jab and you're dead. Chet plays oh, it. No, and that's going to do it. Doesn't Jimmy even need DR. the super, just does the EX Gladius, no. and Jimmy DR is going to take it. They are your champion today at Digital Havoc.
absolutely ready 